Today I'm actually, ooh, I'm just scared that my camera's gonna fall, but let me just put my, put my hand right here. Y'all, funny story, yesterday, usually I make my appointments when I'm off, and so yesterday I went all the way to the doctor, and they were like, ma'am, were you scheduled today? I was like, yes, I'm definitely scheduled today. And they was like, no, it's tomorrow. I was like, really? Oh, sis, you're doing too much. But um, let me see if I can get y'all together, maybe like this. Okay, that's better. Oh, that's better. So yes, y'all, I'm headed to my doctor's appointment. I also have like a few hours to spare so I could just like get all my thoughts out without my two kiddos. So I'm gonna be going to like a little spot to hang out to get myself together. Last night I told y'all I might um, do some podcast stuff, but I did not get to it. Like yesterday just really took me out for real, for real. Um, my head was hurting and I hate when I feel under the weather. And it was like just a lot of sinus pressure. But today I'm feeling a little bit better. So I'm feeling like I could do what I need to do. I also wanted to go to Total Wine to pick up some of my favorite wine. So I'm gonna be doing that and it's like for the Lolo over there. And I'm gonna show y'all what wine it is. But yeah, that's what we have pretty much planned today. And uh, we are still going strong with Vlogmas, y'all. I'm just hoping that I can get through Vlogmas this year. Like I really wanna be successful with it. Like this year I've been reflecting and this year, I don't know, I don't think, like I, I know that I have made some progress but it's just not as much progress as I wanted to make. Let me hold this because this is gonna fall. I know I've made progress, but it's just not as much progress as I wanted. So I pretty much was on Instagram the other day and I was just like, you know how most of the times at this time of year, creators are just sharing how successful they were. And there was one creator that just laid it out on the line and just exactly how I felt. She was just like, she was like, I'm not gonna hold y'all. This year was not as successful. Ooh, or why can't I talk? She was like, I'm not gonna hold y'all. This year was not as successful as I wanted it to be. Even though we still like have a month left, but I'm just, you know, documenting my thoughts right now. When I just kind of look back, I felt like I was going really strong. And, um, you know, sometimes you get distracted. And I really felt, I really feel like I got distracted. I got kind of got thrown off my mojo. So next year, I'm just like, we gotta do better with these distractions, girls. It's like, it, we don't have time to get distracted like we were this year. So, you know, it is what it is. I'm just happy that I'm not stuck, you know, back in that distracted phase. Um, and it just felt like, Every month I was just trying to get out of whatever I was going through. Which leads me to my next thing, <laughs> y'all. I'm really considering going back to therapy. I have been out of therapy. Let me try to think about it. It'll actually make a year in January that I've not been in therapy. Um, <clears throat> I started therapy in 2020, actually. I think I stayed for two years and um, in therapy, like a lot of realizations were made, a lot of progress was made. Y'all, I'm not gonna even sugarcoat it. Like it was very, if you're thinking about doing therapy, you have to do the work. And my therapist held me accountable, like to the top tier. And so she was just like, at one point she was like, well, why am I even seeing you? Like, and that kind of like, was like, oh no, I don't want you not to see me anymore. Like, I don't want you to discharge me. And because I just wasn't, at that time, I wasn't putting forth what she was like explaining to me what I needed to do. And not so much like telling me what to do, but just kind of giving me some realizations. I understood the realizations, but it wasn't, it was just that I didn't want to like put forth the work to do that realization, if that makes sense. And she was just like, well, why am I even seeing you? And then that kind of hit home for me. And I was like, you know what? I need to, you know, do the homework, take her advice um you know she did give me some really great advice she brought me through some really tough times and i was able to you know 
utilize it. The reason why I stopped seeing her is because she no longer took my insurance and I would have had to pay out of pocket which I thought about it, but at the time, I just was like not financially able to do that. And so I was like, well, I'll just have to find a new therapist. And just to think about finding a new therapist and telling them my whole story again, just, you know, digging all of that up, I just was like, I don't want to do that. But now that I'm here, like I still use her techniques. I still use what she has taught me, but I still kind of feel like, I don't know, just like I need to continue to talk to somebody so I don't know I think top of the year I'm gonna look for me a therapist again I might reach out to her to see if she's accepting insurance you know so that would be great if she's like oh yeah now I'm accepting insurance again decided an impromptu little um date solo date i got back from my doctor everything was fine so i decided instead of because i kind of kind of have to be back home in a few so instead of that i decided i'm gonna go ahead and take myself on a solo date like lunch date if you if you're mean so, y'all, I went to Total Wine, as y'all saw the footage, and I was like, okay, I'm going to bring my camera. I'm going to bring my camera. Y'all, I have got to get comfortable vlogging in places, but I'm going to one of my faves. Um, I have showcased this. In fact, on one of my solo dates, I told y'all about this place. They did not have my salmon, so I'm hoping that they have my salmon because, yeah, I feel like I deserve. So, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to pack my tripod just in case i decide to vlog which i should because we're trying to get this content by any means necessary right so yeah um let's go ahead and do that and while i'm at it let me bring my little notebook <clears throat> y'all i bought me a planner for 2024 yeah 2024 so I got my notebook. Let me take this off. I've been, I was like, why do you still have this on here? You've been having this book for a while. Take this off and throw that in the trash, girl. All right. <clears throat> so got my book, got my phone. And yeah, let's go have us a solo date situation. Yeah, she said she done with me. Burn some bridges and I let the fire light the way. Kick my feet up, left the PJs on a PJ. Yo, I'm a big dog and I walk around with no leash. I got water on me, yeah, everything on Fiji. Zanny boss, what's that door? Brand new bag. College girls, give me nigga head in my ass. Rockstar life, so much money, I'll make you laugh. Hey, the bitches they hate and you can't miss what you never had. Hey, hey, I'm the juice. Cody got me tripping. Got the coupe. 